hi back again mickey with another video to help you become the best instacarter or just not make that many mistakes so today i'm going to be showing you three common mistakes to instacart that i have made and how to help you with this it's pretty simple don't freak out don't you know contact help support y you can handle this and i'll teach you another batch here at walgreens and it's uh, 21 items. So right away, the problem with this item is that it was only available in a certain flavor. She wanted the original berry flavor, but it, we only had the dye free. So what you would do in the circumstance is contact the customer, let them know the item you found, and if they would like a replacement. Just follow the steps that the app gives you. It guides you along pretty fast to let you know it's the wrong item, and you will just send a message to the customer similar to the one I sent. And fortunately, this customer was okay with this replacement. This batch in particular had a lot of medicine and a lot of food products, so it's very important to pay attention to the packaging to make sure it's the correct product. Here's a classic example of why size does matter. The customer wanted a 2.75 ounce of the Doritos bag. And initially, I only saw the 9 ounce one. I almost scanned the wrong one, but it's the 9 ounce one. So she wants the, um, the smaller bag. And let's see if she can find it. As you can see, there's two different um, Pringles. But obviously, you're not going to give the customer this one because it just looks tampered with. So we're going to go for the best looking... Um, Products. It's done. We just need a couple more medicines, about four more products. So this product right here, I had to go to the cashier as Instacart directed me. However, this product was not even at the cashier. It was located in the medicine aisle. So just watch out for things like those that can potentially waste your time. So you want to separate your grocery items, cans together, cold items together, so that it's properly packaged, because that could help your tip. I wanted all the medicine to be in one bag. And then I'm sorry? I wanted all the medicine to just be, like, apart from the food. <laughs> Yes, it's for Instacart. They must have a sick household. Yeah. <laughs> I know, there's a lot of food. Yeah. Because I need it. Too much soup. <laughs> So before you start driving to your location, Instacart's going to give you a message like this to remind you to keep the paper receipt and take a picture. And here's where I like to keep mine. So one thing with this customer's order that I forgot to mention is that at the very end, because she has ordered so many cold medications and because you know what cold medications can be used for, you know, extracurricular activities and drugs and such, um, you also have to get their ID. And it's pretty simple. What happens is that uh, Instacart puts this um, notification on your phone that you must meet the customer to verify their name and that they're above 18 and their ID also. So you actually need to have their ID. And that was my first time experiencing an order like this. Um, so basically I left their groceries there and uh, messaged the customer and asked for them to come outside in order for you to receive your groceries. I have to just verify your ID. So that's what I did. Instacart has this little scanner and you scan the back of their ID and it's simple. It just takes 30 seconds or less and you just, yes, this is the name. Yes, they look above 18. 
scan their ID and you're good as gold, okay? It just may be a little bit awkward if you're used to just leaving groceries and running away. Just kidding. If you're used to leaving groceries at their doorstep and just going about your business. So that's definitely so, all I have for this video. Please hit the like and subscribe button for more. And I'm definitely gonna have more content coming out next week. So stay tuned.